Hey everyone, I'm back, and today we're going to be talking about Black Panther. And uh, this is, uh, was this the 18th movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Who would have thought 18 movies in a franchise that started like 10 years ago ish? And uh, this one is about the story of Black Panther and uh, I would say origins, but there isn't really a lot of origins in this movie. Uh, it's not really an origin story, it's more like a picking up where we left off. It takes place on Earth. Now, I would get into the story, but in terms of a story, there isn't a lot to talk about. So I'm just going to get into the positives. Because, I mean, you think that's what you're here for, and two, I think you already know what the basic story is, and I kind of briefly explained what it is. So I'm just going to move on to the positives. Now, what did I like about this movie? The performances. Those are what really uh, hold this movie up, and it's they're very good. Uh, T'Challa? Uh, I'm not to. 100% sure if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Uh, Chadwick uh, Bosman? I, I, I don't know how you pronounce it. But uh, he, he plays Black Panther in this movie, aka T'Challa, and he's really good in this movie. Along with Michael B. Jordan, who's the villain of the film. And all the performances are really good. And uh, most of the... Mo most of the humor works in this movie. Some of it falls flat, and fortunately, it's not that big of a deal that falls flat because there's not a lot of humor in this movie, like in comparison to the previous three that we got. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Spider-Man Homecoming, and Thor Ragnarok, those are essentially comedies in compared to this. This one's uh, more of a serious film. The action sequences are really cool. Uh, my only complaint with them are, are the visual effects at times, but we will get into those later. Uh, the visual effects I thought could have been better. The world, uh, I forgot uh, what... Wakanda, that's it. The Wakanda portion of Black Panther. Uh, that I really liked, uh, and... Uh, some of the technology they have and the world. Uh, that stuff I really liked because it was interesting to me. Uh, some of the music in this movie is good. Uh, the rest of it is eh. And I think it's about time I got into my negatives. Um, <laughs> and my negatives uh, with the film are the pacing, the, the visual effects, which I already touched on, the music, uh, it's kind of, we'll start with the music, and the music I liked, I thought was decent. Uh, the rest of it was either forgettable and bland, or just didn't fit with the scene at all. And the pacing for the film, um, the best way I can put it is, uh, if you choose to have a slower paced film, that's fine. I just would have preferred if uh, something interesting was uh, happening within this slow pacing. Because uh, if it's not really interesting, it can kind of get dull. And the characters aren't exactly too interesting for myself. Uh, I'm not saying that they're bad. Uh, Michael B. Jordan... Uh, He's uh, really good in this movie, and uh, his motivation makes sense of why he's doing the things he's doing. And uh, I understand uh, what is happening, but my complaint is uh, they don't give a lot of time to really develop uh, what, uh, uh, like what make something to make these characters interesting throughout the film, because once you understand everything, uh, the rest of it's kind of dull, and I'll, I'll put it like this. So let's say 
let's say this entire segment, the entire space between my hands is two hours uh, of uh, a run time. You develop your characters, and let's say this amount is about 20 minutes-ish. And that's uh, how much time you give to developing the world and the characters. But what do you do with the rest? You have <laughs> an hour and 40 minutes of just nothing. Things just happening. And you understand what's going on, but it's not that interesting to watch. I think I got it. We'll get into the visual effects. Um, yeah. Some of them are great. Some of them are terrible. The rest of them are fine. When it looks bad, it really looks bad. It kind of reminded me of uh, the DC Extended Universe, where, say whatever you want about them, uh, the visual effects in those movies don't exactly look finished. And that's my complaint with the, some of the visual effects in Black Panther. In the end, uh, I think uh, that's all I can say about Black Panther. It might sound like I hated this movie, or uh, I just didn't like this movie. In the end, I did like it. It's just a lot of problems I found that prevented me from giving it a higher grade than what it, I'm about to give it. Uh, in the end, uh, if you, you are you're looking for entertainment or something fun to watch, go see Black Panther. If you if there's nothing better out in theaters right now, or you're just looking for some entertainment, watch Black Panther. If you're a completionist for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, go see this movie. I think that's all my recommendations. If you don't fit into any of anything that I just said, uh, you can skip Black Panther. But I, I would recommend it regardless if you fit into these categories or not. Because you never know, I might have missed something. And I'm going to give Black Panther a B. Thank you for watching my videos as always. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below what you thought of Black Panther down below. And sorry for getting this review up late. Um, I, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I did the best I can and I haven't seen the movie in a while. I saw it like a week ago and I don't remember too much. And this is the best I could do. And if uh, there's something I might have missed and you want me to talk about it, comment down below. I I'll see what I can do. I would be more than happy to just talk with you guys down there. Because I got nothing better to do. <laughs> and uh, follow me on social media. Uh, I'll link They'll be in the description down below and for Facebook, the Stardust app, and uh, Twitter. If you're interested, if you have any, an account on any of the those, uh, follow me there. And last but not least, uh, subscribe to be a part of Foley Nation. And I'll see you when I get my next review up. And that's going to be the Fifty Shades Trilogy. <laughs> oh, that's going to be fun. I cannot wait to bring that to you guys. But until I get that up, thank you for watching and have a great day.